Happy Valley concludes on BBC One this weekend with the Sally Wainwright series wrapping up once and for all with viewers getting an epic showdown. The series returned after seven years off-screen with Sarah Lancashire and James Norton reprising their respective roles as police officer Catherine Cowood and Tommy Lee Royce. Happy Valley catapulted Norton, 37, into the spotlight with the BAFTA-winning show marking his big breakout. The new series continues to shine a spotlight on the British star, however, some Happy Valley fans have criticized the show and said Norton is too good-looking to portray the rapist and violent criminal while other audience members swooned over him and declared him the sexiest psychopath ever. In an exclusive interview with professor of criminology at Birmingham City University and former prison governor David Wilson addressed this critique, saying, it's just rubbish. If it was all based on looks, you could only be a criminal if you were ugly or a psychopath if you were ugly. It just doesn't make any sense. Professor Wilson went on to cite Robert Rimmer whom Humberside police were looking for in connection with an ongoing investigation earlier this year. Happy Valley Season 3 cast in full as a familiar and unwelcomed face returns, there will be plenty of problems for the Cowood family as Happy Valley returns for a third and final series. With Sarah Lancashire returning as Sergeant Catherine Cowood, find out who else joins the cast as the TV show returns. He said, people went mad, saying how attractive he was. So sadly, you can't do it by looks. What you have to remember is that the looks mask a very dangerous personality. Prior to moving into academia, Professor Wilson served as a governor at various prisons as well as working at Finnamore Wood, Grandin and the notorious Wormwood Scrubs. He is now teaching university students and his research covers all aspects of prisons, incarceration and murder as well as serial murder. Professor Wilson said he would take his students to visit prisons and tell them, psychopaths don't come with horns on their heads and long, pointed tails. If they were like that, it would be easy to spot them and avoid them. Psychopaths don't come like that, they're very well disguised and often they can be charming and attractive. The academic, who is a self-confessed fan of Happy Valley, also praised the depiction of the criminal, Tommy Lee Royce is a very good example of a psychopath in many respects, a propensity for violence, self-centered, narcissistic, has no real feelings and is ultimately quite a hollow person. He said psychopaths were initially very attractive and fun to be around with a superficial charm to them, but eventually people would realize this behavior was not how things should be done. Interestingly, Professor Wilson also noted there were people like Tommy walking amongst us, who were functioning psychopaths and the only thing separating them from those behind bars was the fact they hadn't committed crimes. One of my best friends is clinically a psychopath, he said. Professor Wilson went so far as to say some of the underlying personality traits of psychopaths made them quite successful, particularly in the corporate and business world due to being risk-takers and self-centered. Professor Wilson said if psychopaths didn't get their narcissism in check then they could cross the line into criminality to satisfy this need. The academic praised Happy Valley, I really do love the writing and the acting and I love the irony that's built into it. Even the title, it's a very unhappy valley even though it's beautiful. As a police procedural, I enjoy that element of it because it's so down to earth and so leaky leaky. Dot along with his academic work, Wilson also fronts the Channel 4 factual series in the footsteps of Killers with Silent Witness actress Amelia Fox, which is currently airing.
the compelling series sees Wilson and Fox going back to unsolved murder cases and searching for fresh leads missed during the original investigation. Among the cold cases in this series include a decades-old investigation focusing on Scotland's Templeton Woods murderer, another looking at the death of eight-year-old Vishal Marodera and the disappearance of Robert Duff. Professor Wilson said the fascination around true crime was not a new phenomenon and was normal and necessary with human beings trying to process and understand those committing heinous acts. Happy Valley concludes on BBC One this Sunday at 9pm.